Hey guys, this is Mr. Kilburn, and I'm going to go through a tutorial with you. Uh, one I just put together, because after grading your homeworks, I'm just seeing some uh, some confusion still between the different kinds of sequences we've talked about, and then with the, within the different types, um, the different ways that you can generate a sequence. All right. So the first one I want to investigate is the first one we did, and that's arithmetic. So if you were to graph that, you would get a line. And within arithmetic, there's two different kinds. There's recursive and there's explicit. Okay, so suppose we had a linear sequence, something like this. Um, a sub n equals 3, negative 1, negative 5, etc. And after investigating that a little bit, you should notice that it is decreasing at a constant rate. It has what's known as a common difference. All right, so in this case, from term to term, it's decreasing by 4. Okay, so we'll start with recursive. A recursive sequence is one in which <clears throat> you can't take any steps forward until you have the term before it. And especially, you have to have that first term. On your homeworks, I noticed a lot of you weren't including the first term in your recursive answers. You have to have that first term. Okay, so what a recursive says is this. If I'm starting with the first term, which in this case is 3, the way I get a term is take the term before it and subtract 4. All right, so what if, just to prove the point that you have to have the term prior, suppose with recursive, I just started out with saying, you know what, I want the fourth term. I have no idea what the second term is or the third term. I just want to start right away uh, and figure out what the fourth term is. Well, the reason it doesn't work for recursive sequences <clears throat> is this. Suppose I plug in a 4 for n. All right, I plug in a 4 for n here and a 4 for n here. Okay, at first it seems fine. A, a of 4 equals a of 3 minus 4. But at this step, a of 4 equals, well, I don't know what the value of a of 3 is yet. I mean, yes, you can look up here, but suppose this was not here, and you had to generate it, okay? You can't generate the third term, uh, the fourth term, until you have the third term, and I don't have the third term yet, okay? So that's why to properly apply a recursive sequence, it would go something like this. Okay, so I want the second term. Okay, I'm going to plug a 2 in for n here, 2 in for n here. Uh, 2 minus 1 is 1. So the way I get the second term is I take the first term and subtract 4. And that's cool because I do have the first term, in this case a 3. So the second term is just the first term subtract 4, which is negative 1. And that matches the sequence. Okay, so that's a recursive. Explicit says... Uh, you can get to whatever term you want in a big, big hurry. All right, this is the formula that's on your reference sheet. You do not need to memorize this. So suppose you had uh, the general form of an explicit arithmetic equation off your reference sheet, which looks like this. Okay, the way you get a term is take the first term and add the term minus 1 times the common difference. Okay, so in this case, suppose I wanted the fifth term. I'd plug a 5 in for n. And I would plug a 5 in for n right here. All right, again, the first term is 3. And now just evaluate it. A of 5 equals 3 plus 4 times negative 4. Right, because again, this is 5 minus 1 times negative 4. 4 times negative 4 is a negative 16. 3 subtract negative 16 is 13. And it's the fifth term, negative 13. 1, 2, 3, and it is. Okay, so there's a brief run through on arithmetic sequences both recursive and explicit. All right, the other one we touched on is what's known as uh, geometric sequences. And this will give you an exponential curve, uh, something we'll talk about more in the future. But for our purposes for right now, just think of it as a nonlinear curve. So within geometric, there is also recursive and explicit. So first recursive. So suppose you had a sequence, something like this. A of n equals 6, 36, 216, 1296. Right? So recursive with respect to geometric. Okay, once again, you have to have that first term. If you don't have the first term, you are dead in the water. You can't go any further. So, again, you have to have that. So what recursive uh, geometric says is to get some term, okay, um, take the term before and multiply by 6. All right, well, suppose I want the second term. I take this, plug a 2 in for n here, plug a 2 in for n here. So the way I get a second term is take the first term and multiply it by 6. Well, what is 6 times 6? It's 36, and that does, in fact, give me 
the second term. Explicit, once again, says I can go um, wherever I want. Suppose I want to go with the, whoops, sorry about that. Um, so there's the general formula. Again, that's on your reference sheet. You do not need to memorize it. So suppose I want the fourth term. Okay, I'm going to plug a 4 in for n here and a 4 in for n up in the exponent spot right here. So I just take it one step at a time. The way I get the fourth term, 4 minus 1 is 3. Okay, PEMDAS, 6 to the cubed or 6 to the third power is 216. And 6 times 216 is in fact 1296, which is what we would expect because that is the fourth term. Okay, guys. Whoop. Here we go. Here's explicit. Okay, so again, within the main frame of sequences, there's two major types, arithmetic and geometric. And then within each of those is recursive and explicit, which we just walked through. All right, guys. Hope that helped. Have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye.